Managing a restaurant takes more than just being good in some one phase of it. Take, for instance, Aunt Martha. All her friends told her she was the best cook they knew. She made the best pies. She made the best puddings. And her muffins, mmm, mmm. Well, anyway, Aunt Martha decided to go into the restaurant business. So, she rented a vacant store, the first one she found, got busy and cleaned it up, got new furniture and spent plenty of money decorating the place, and soon Aunt Martha was ready for business. Ah, but business wasn't ready for Aunt Martha. The fact that the store happened to be on a quiet side street hadn't occurred to her. And neither had the fact that she didn't know how to plan her meals economically. All in all, poor Aunt Martha wasn't making a go of it. And the worst of it was she didn't even know why. The fact was, Aunt Martha was no manager, even if she was the best cook in town. And the sad truth is that her experience is typical of 50% of the people who start their own restaurants. Think of it that so many failures should occur, all because too many Aunt Marthas rush in with no real preparation for the job. famous anthropologist. And this is the famous and mysterious Mayan calendar, which many people believe predicts the end of the world in the year 2012. But those people are stupid. 